Ciao and welcome to this week's edition of Il Bolatino, what's cooking in Chicagoland's Italian-American community. Last weekend were three fabulous events in our community that if you didn't get a chance to participate in, you gotta make it a point to next year. First was the 40th annual Festa della Familia in honor of San Francesca di Paola. It was a fabulous four-day feast culminating in a wonderful procession down the streets around Casa Italia and Stone Park. Congratulations to outgoing president of 40 years, the great Joe Bruno, and to incoming president Joey Russo. What a great job these guys did. Then was the taste of Elmwood Park. It was a grand return of one of the western suburbs most loved events. It's been happening for decades, until COVID that is. So people came out in droves when it returned. Once again, Mayor Skip Saviano and his fabulous support team did an incredible job. And hats off to Carl and Paula Doty, former owners of Danny's Deli in Melrose Park. Man, I miss them neck bones. What started as a whim among friends a few years ago has grown into the Big Bash Buffet benefit for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Local entertainers, including Diva Montel, Tony Ocean, DJ Jerry Renda, Nick Sayhajis, Regina Karma, and Jack Muccio provided the fabulous entertainment for the day. This was their biggest event ever and broke records by raising tens of thousands of dollars for St. Jude's. Congratulations, you guys. And the golf outings continue to pile up with a couple of great ones this week. The Old Neighborhood Italian American Club and Chaco both had sellouts this week at their golf outings. And next week, it's Unico on Monday, the Italian American Executives of Transportation on Wednesday, and the following Monday is the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame golf outing at Royal Fox in St. Charles. My arms are ready to fall off, but I'm loving the camaraderie and the fundraising. And I'm sure you remember our Pack the Park Italian Unity Day a couple weeks back where we honored the 51 Chicago police officers injured while defending our Columbus statue in Grant Park. I met several heroes that day, including Sergeant Murphy Rail, the officer who nearly lost his eyesight at the terrible riot. He is a true hero and a truly wonderful individual. But this Wednesday night, Sergeant Rail along with another hero from the Chicago Fire Department, will be honored for their heroic actions at the Chicago White Sox game. So if you can, go see the Sox win and our first responders honored. And this week, we met with two of the five San Filippo family members who are serving as the chairpersons of the 2021 Columbus Day Parade. They couldn't be more excited and we couldn't be more lucky as we honor their father, Jasper Sanfilippo at the parade. We lost him a little over a year ago. He was so generous to our community and the JCCIA is so proud to salute the memory of Jasper Sanfilippo on October 11th. And that's what's cooking in Chicagoland's Italian American community this week. Check us out around the world every Sunday at 10 a.m. on Domenica Insieme with hosts Pat Capriati and John Conana. If your organization has any news it would like to share here on Il Bolatino, send a note to our office, jcc at jccia.com. So until next week, stay proud, stay positive, and share this Il Bolatino with all your friends. We need to be strong. We need to be unified. See you next week. Ciao, ciao.